Hey guys, I don't know if you're all here or what I'm even doing. Hey guys, I ended up arguing with, uh, I can't get a hold of why YouTube isn't working for me. So I had to download an app. So I'm going to sit here and wait and see if anybody pops on because I didn't tell anybody I was going live. Like at all. So I'm sitting. I'm waiting. Heather Beats and your diva. But I am going to. <laughs> I could be a reindeer. I <laughs> just saw that. I'm going to see. Listen, I tried a new app to try to get in. Hey, guys. Hey, Kim. Hey, Christy. Listen, I was trying to get on. Listen, you guys need to know my struggles. Hey, Angela. <laughs> You guys are so funny. Um, don't forget, comment down below. I always answer everybody. I'll try as fast as I can. Um, so we all know I hit over a thousand subscribers. It says I'm verified. It says all that. I've been verified before a thousand subscribers and I still can't go live. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Bobby. And I can't, when I click live, it tell, tells me that I'm not verified and there's no phone number to contact YouTube. So I downloaded an app. <laughs> Yay! So listen, where there's a will, there's a way, and I'm I'm dedicated <laughs> because I went through. I downloaded seven apps, and it took one YouTube video to tell me, um, somebody's weirdly calling me, but to tell me that I can download this app, and I was like, thanks for telling me that, bro. Hey, Louise. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Janine. Gang's all here. Oh, girl, I'm glad I figured it out too. First of all, it wasn't even YouTube I had to get through. I had to get through a freaking app to get into YouTube, which is very friggin' annoying. Um, so I don't know why YouTube doesn't have a phone number or an email, but somebody's gonna hear it from me tomorrow. Just saying. People bug me. <laughs> like they do. They're probably going to see this live and they're like, okay, we're not going to let her go live anymore. <laughs> so how's everybody? I'm still having my crappy GI issues, but I'm having a distraction moment to keep my mind off the pain. It sucks. But I did contact my doctor and she said, as long as I'm not dying from pain, um, I should be good. I just got to let my body do its thing. Oh, <laughs> Louise, heads are going to roll, girl. <laughs> Ooh, Debbie, your E-Day's tomorrow? Girl. Been there, boo. I've been there. Um, I thought I was going to stroke. Ativan Fairy is everything. You guys, get Ativan. <laughs> it helps a great deal, guys. It really does. Renna, you're very welcome for the Christmas card. Sorry, guys, I'm just reading in between the process. Ooh, I do want to schedule uh, normal lives with you guys now that I'm using an app instead of going through YouTube because they're just pissing me off. Let's be real. Yeah, dude, my E-Day, I was like stroking out. Luckily, I took the Ativan Fairy. <laughs> I'm going to call her that. She's like the Ativan Fairy. But yeah, she took the edge off for real. Like when Novocaine didn't work because the infection was so bad in my face, um, the Ativan Fairy made me happy about it, so. <laughs> Louise, you know, I gotta say something. My kids tried that whole terrible two thing, and I gave them that, like, really, bro? And I would walk away, and they never did it again. So I got very lucky. Yeah, Amanda, what, what it was is my doctor said that it's probably a mixture of SIBO and my other intestinal issues. And she said, if the pain does increase, know what she told me to do? She's like, if you can't jump up and down, you got to go to the hospital. And I was like, so I stood up and I was like, all right, let's do this. And I jumped up and down. I'm like, I'm good. She's like, your body's just really slow. I have fibrosis in my intestines. So it's a pain in the butt. Bye, Robert. You know what's crazy is that, yeah, the thousands of Novocaine shots you get in your face does suck. Let's be real. But 
I think what pissed me off more <laughs> is that all those shots I got, it didn't even numb my face. Because like I told you guys, I had a massive infection where I had sepsis and the clinomycin was only keeping it at bay so it wouldn't go to like my brain, but it still stayed here. So I literally had to get like these from here to here uh, pulled out with nothing because I didn't want to wait for an old surgeon that was going to take a month. No, I'm good. Oh my God, Debbie, you're not the only one that's ever said that to me in my life. First of all, I look nothing like her. I think it might be the personality. <laughs> I keep jumping. <laughs> you guys are going to see me on a live and I'm just going to jump up and down. I do have to say though, I think when you get Novocaine in like the back, you all know, the back jaw, like where your wisdom teeth are and they keep stabbing you over there. I was bruised. That hurt more healing than anything. I don't know why. I know somebody's going to ask me. I know it's a nerve thing and it's also bruising the sh out of back there. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. That's a compliment because I like her. Why the two front teeth? You just made me start singing that song. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. That just like popped in my head. I've been listening to Christmas music all day, guys. Hey, Danielle. Yes, I figured out a way. Listen, you weren't here before. I got mad at YouTube because I'm at a thousand subscribers. I should be able to go live and it won't let me. So I had to download an app to do so. <laughs> yeah, Louise, man, girl, I hope you get your soon. When do you get your digital dentures? And first of all, I'm mad at you because I want to get them. I'm jelly. Just saying. Um, probably their site, I'm assuming. I don't know. I do them all over because I like to cover my basis. So, um, I kind of go everywhere. I hit up like Google and I hit up Dr. B's website is where I go first. Definitely. Debbie, did you purposely divide them up or did just shit happens in that? Like my back were randomly taken out. So I didn't choose to do my bottom you know, first, it just happened that way. But you have five on top. That's all you got left, girl? That's easy. Get it. You get it. You get a whole new smile and everything. Well, don't freak out. Well, Merry Christmas to you then, Louise. That's awesome. See, what's cool is I actually live two and a half hours away from the Avaclar. Um facility but man that shit's expensive I'll probably never be able to get that but I'm happy with mine at least I got a cool smile yeah but Louise that's actually a good price if you think about it giving digital dentures I know people that paid more than that for just regular dentures so it's kind of crazy yeah traditional over here does not cause a thousand or less <laughs> My top one was a, um, no, wait a minute. My immediate denture was a thousand uh, for the top and my permanent one was 1700 because they're made out of different materials. Ooh, digital dentures are from Avaclar. What they do is everything is basically computerized, but they do do regular impressions. They pop that crap on a computer and you can form anything you want. You can have the perfect fit. You can have certain teeth done a certain way and you see it in your face before it's actually in your face. It is so awesome. And their teeth are like gorgeous. First of all, you need to check that out, girl. It is gorgeous. Um, if you go to Spida Liz's page, um, right before she like disappeared, um, she did a whole freaking series on Avaclar digital dentures. You need to check them out because that's some pretty cool crap. Sorry guys, I'm just reading. No, Angela, see, I have Medicaid and they don't cover immediates and they don't cover digital dentures. They'll only cover regular plain old dentures and mine are covered by Medicaid, these top ones. And I'm still waiting to fight with my insurance on this, which is not my insurance fault. It was actually my dentist's fault, but whatever. We won't get into that. Well, not his fault. More like the person at his job's fault. 
and it's hard if you guys actually go I think um, if you just even Google your vicinity, how far are you willing to drive for those digital dentures, there are places. But in your vicinity, if you're in a rural, rural area, you're not going to be able to find it. Um, unless you live upstate New York by me because uh, digital denture Avaclar is in a rural area. I would love to go there. It's like field trip. It's like a cool place for denture people to go. Yeah, you need, you guys, bucket list is digital dentures. You know, most people would say implants. Eh. Eh. See, I can't do implants. I already have nerve pain as it is, and I think if something was screwed into my face, um, I would have enough problems. It's bad enough I took out two teeth because of nerve pain. The teeth were fine, but the pain was bitchy. So I just like, pull them. Just pull them. Yeah, I agree with you guys. We don't do implants. I mean, if people can afford it and they're like in great health, they got no issues, then do it. Don't eat nuts. Oh my gosh, I know so many people that have had implants like, oh, I've eaten nuts before, no problem. And then like a few months later, they jinx themselves and they ended up breaking their teeth. You know how much it is to fix that? Jesus, Lord. Ooh, impressions. First of all, when I got my impressions for both my sets of dentures, I felt like my face was going to come with it. When he yanks it out, because he like presses on it, he makes sure it gets every damn, he doesn't just hold it. Every nook and freaking cranny, he makes sure. Like he squeezes everywhere. It's painful. But it's like when he tries to pull it out, it feels like the rest of me is coming with it. Damn, that sucked. Medicaid is a huge freaking hassle. It is a huge hassle. But you know what's crazy? With my top one, they didn't give me any problems. My bottom one, because there's a new chick at the dentist's office, well, she's not really new anymore, but they kept telling her all they needed was, you know, that spinny x-ray thingy, I forgot what it's called, starts with the P. Um, they needed that and something else just to make sure that these teeth didn't need to come out and the partial was all they needed to do. And she just kept ignoring it and kept ignoring it. And so I lost my shit on her a couple of weeks ago. She moved fast after that. Ooh, Angela. Oh, that's another thing. A lot of people talk about, like, everybody's been so into bone chips and, you know, bone spurs and all that lately. And, like, I remember, first of all, they're hurtful when you put immediate dentures on them. But when everything's all clear, the whole thing is, is with the holes, your jawbone's got to, like, go into them. You know what I mean? Like, they got to fill in. And then you end up getting sharp bones sticking out. Like, I still, up top, it's not as sharp as it used to be. But literally, it's been almost a year. January 6th will be a year since I had my top teeth taken out. And I had that sharp bone sticking out for a hot minute. My body's slow. <laughs> I knew what you meant, Angela. I had one person tell me that they never had bone spurs, bone chips, and I'm like, I wish. Maybe they didn't notice because somebody always gets like one or two. But hey, Rebecca. No, you didn't miss it, but I have been fighting with stuff lately. Yeah, I'm not taking these bitches out. No, these teeth are fine. So I think that's why they wanted an x-ray. Listen, if you have a lot of problems with your healthy teeth that you want to keep, they'll make you take them out. And the way it is, is the way Medicaid works, is they only give a crap about your smile. They don't give a crap about the back teeth at all. They don't. So me, with these being perfectly fine, they should be able to do the partial. But if you have like a lot of... They even said on the paper, if you have to do root canals and stuff... They'll deny you because a root canal literally costs as much as a denture does, which is pretty crazy. Luis, me too. Jelly. Nope, I'm here, Crystal. Hey, Michelle. I figured it out. No thanks to YouTube. I Listen, they need a number. Why don't they have a number? They're a freaking damn business. Like, what the hell, bro? Sorry, I need my coffee. 
I swear I just dance in my head. Oh, that sucks. <clears throat> to have two bone spurs and a plate right on top of it. Well, I had so many bone spurs, guys. Like, Jesus Lord, I was taking them out myself. Except, like, bone chips are those little pieces of tooth, and bone spurs are your jaw coming out of your gum. They just have to file them down um, to get them back into your gum. Like, because they go YOLO, which is annoying. But when they press on it, one <laughs> hundred youtube <laughs> Thank you, Sarah, and hi. Terry! Hey! Terry was actually with me with the frustration of me cursing out YouTube in Messenger. <laughs> Be blessed, Debbie. Be blessed. I pray that you don't ever get them. But yeah, I only had to once, uh, for a bone spur, he had us file it back in. I didn't need numbing or anything. It was just a quick pss, and that was it. Um, but he tried to pull thinking it was a bone chip too. And it was like, my job, bro, it ain't going anywhere. So we had to do an x-ray and he was like, yep, yeah, we got to file that back in. Actually, it was here and here. It's always, it's always my back bottom molars. They give me the most crap. Oh, well, no, that's the deal. They, if they pop out of your gums, um, they can actually do something about it. They can file it. So if it's completely uneven, your gums, like, let me show you guys. You're about to be in my mouth. Just saying. So my bottom ones are nice and smooth. See how smooth those are? Okay. So that's what you're going for. That's what you want. Um, the whole thing is, is when they're not at that point yet, and they're kind of like all over the place, it's normal. They got to heal. They got to get to this. Now, when they're not quite there yet in the smooth round, they're good. Mine was popping out of my skin. There was a sharp edge and it was coming out of my gum and they just went in and filed it real quick. But yeah, if it's bumpy and just like a crazy mess, do not over adjust your denture because of that. Don't do it because you're going to make your denture massively big. Don't do it. Oh, right here, girl, right here, top back molar. I see you. I see you. Same problems, girl. Sorry, guys, I'm just reading. I put on elevator music, but I would get in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, Louise, first of all, your dentures were butchered. You were actually one of the inspirations to one of my videos I did. Because they were butchered. Actually, I think you were that inspiration of that video when I said don't mutilate your dentures. Yeah, it freaking hurts. Dude, your denture, that woman must have been on some serious something when she did your denture. I'm not kidding. She had to have been. Just saying. So I got a question for you guys. If I were to do a live weekly, now already, as everybody knows, who's part of my dental support group on here, normally, I think it's what, every Friday I do it, guys? I didn't do it last Friday because I've been sick. So normally every Friday for like an hour or so, I just chat. I'm talkative. We all know this. But for like an hour um, at 8 p.m., that's what everybody wanted, that I do a live. So what's good for you guys for me to go live for YouTube? Choice is yours. They were the worst, girl. When you sent me pictures, I'm like, Jesus! <laughs> I would have made you yell at the chick earlier. I don't understand how a denturist... This is what bothers me. This is why I made so many videos against dentists and denturists who don't care about their patients. Because how can... The way your dentures looked, nobody in their right mind would ever think that would ever fit in or work in somebody's mouth. They were horrible. How could any person making them think it's okay to give it to somebody like that. Like that's, you're going to mess up your jaw. You can fracture, you can break. Like what is wrong with people? Okay. So what day for, is good for you guys? Because 8 PM on Saturday, no nope, Friday, I do for my Facebook dental support group. So what do you, what day is good for you guys? You want a weekday? Do you want a weekend? Like what's good for you guys? And don't forget, I'll be live on here on Christmas day. 
I'll probably either through the app or through YouTube, but YouTube is getting yelled at by me, so. They piss me off. <gasps> Summer. It's freaking 19 degrees by me in upstate New York. I am jealous. Listen, I'm allergic to the summer, but I prefer that over 19 degree weather. <laughs> A weekday. Hmm. Okay, everybody pick your favorite day down below because whatever the majority rules is what's going to be. Dude, dinner's like repeating on me. I made chicken thighs, but like did it fried and I breaded it and I did all that. So good, but it's so repeating on me. Oh, yeah, it'll never be so. Louise, no talking to you. You live in Australia in nice weather. You can't talk to me right now. It's freaking 19 degrees out by me. I technically have both, but I'm still waiting for my bottom partial to come in. But right now, I just have my top in. See? Dee -dee. But my bottom ones, I'm waiting for the new permanent ones to come in. So now it's just my real eight teeth. <laughs> well, yeah, my nighttime is your daytime, Louise. That's why. <laughs> You're like, I don't care. I'm awake anyway. Wow, there's all sorts of days. <laughs> I don't think anybody picked the same day at all. Yes, I lost my... Listen, I have scleroderma, which is overproduction of collagen. And um, it pretty much turns your body to stone. So I did lose somewhat of my lip. It used to be somewhat bigger, but not a whole lot. Um, it was more like somewhat, but with dentures, yes. I actually looked at a picture beforehand and I saw the big difference of me not having a lip now. Only when I smile, I have a baby one. Thanks, Louise. I would hope so. But I, like that was my biggest fear. Hey, Christina. Um, that was my biggest fear that, you know, they were going to not look good. <laughs> like my biggest, cause I've seen, I have seen personally myself, people show immediate dentures pictures on support groups and one tooth is different size and different color. Like how, why would you give somebody that? No, that bothers me. How do I talk so well, Kelly? Um, I never had a problem talking except for like hard G's because the middle part of my tongue would hit like the palate and it was, did not work out well for me. I still sort of have that problem. Um, with my permanent dentures when I first got them, not that long ago, um, I had a problem with S's and all that. But now that I've gotten used to it, yeah, I don't have a problem. It's just normal. Listen, I talk too much. I get used to things very quickly. <laughs> Uh, meh. Let's see. The boys are off. Well, they're with their dad on Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Uh, when Thomas feels like going because he doesn't like being there, which can't blame him. And, meh. I don't know. I mean, the only day I really can is Fridays. Meh. I guess after this, I'll check everybody's stuff to see what everybody prefers. Um, I don't know. Either way, I'll do a video and I'll let everybody know what I'm going to do. Because I can't do like setting a reminder or, you know, set whatever because YouTube is being a butt right now. <laughs> Louise, it's been cold to that where I live. <laughs> hey, Melody. Uh, girl, how did you misplace your denture? I've always wondered that. Like, 
Do you like just put it down anywhere and just like, cause me, I lose everything. So I guess that's why I can never put my denture down even for a second because I'll forget where I put it or I'll didn't know I put it on the counter and I'm legally blind. So I can't see something unless I look at it. In my luck, I would just be like, whoop and break it, you know, cause that's how I roll. <laughs> Angela. Listen, I don't know if you guys ever first saw one of my videos with my first time without my teeth and um on YouTube. And I can't I couldn't speak for shit without my denture. Like I I don't know how you guys deal with that all the time. Like at nighttime I take mine out, I don't care. I don't put mine in until like 2 hours after I wake up cuz I drink my coffee, I take all my meds, I do all that. I put them in when I feel like it. Um which is most of the day, but I mean like I don't rush first thing in the morning. I put them in, like, if I wake up at 8, I'll put them in at, like, 9.30. Oh, that's something I want to talk about. I don't whistle anymore. I used to be able to whistle any song in God's creation. I used to be an amazing whistler. And now I can't whistle anymore, with or without dentures. Does anybody else have that problem? Like, I can do, like, if I breathe in, but I can't, like, blow out whistle anymore. Like, it's annoying. A decent pressure to bite. Um, nothing stops me from eating. <laughs> nothing stops me from eating at all. So, probably the second I was eating... Um, because you have to get used to it. That's the whole thing is the bite is going to be different. It's going to feel weird. Even when you get your permanent dentures, it's going to feel weird. So you just have to practice and you get used to it. It's all about getting used to it is basically what it is. And having the best security for your denture, making sure those babies don't come out. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny, Louise, if you were actually able to whistle now once you get your dentures? I know, I hear it all the time that people keep losing their teeth. I'm not saying that, Louise. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Yeah, I do that too, Terry. I do. Um, but I'm so mad that I can. I used to be, like, amazing at it. Yeah, enjoy whistling now, Angela. Unless you, like, become a pro. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to go up to make sure I didn't miss anybody. How do you take your dead out in your sleep? Well, I mean, I've done some crazy shit in my sleep, so I can't even say anything. I mean, I've taken medications in my sleep, and I'm pretty sure that's not good. That was years ago. Well, I hope you found your dentures now. <laughs> Angela, I think what it is is because our movement is different. Like, we're so used to the wideness of how our teeth were. So when they put dentures in it, it's different. Like, we used to not have plastic here preventing us to move that muscle. Like, this muscle right here. So even, like, if I do the bunny thing and, like, make my nose smaller, um, that muscle right there is putting, putting pressure from right here. So when we used to do the whistle thing... All this is being stuck on, so you can't even do it. It's a big pain in the ass. We'll just say that. It's a big pain in the butt. Sorry, guys. Just scrolling. Oh, I'm a little delayed, but have a good night, Debbie. <laughs> oh, my dentures removal video? Did I, I, was, I know I was in the process of, listen, I made, I've only been a YouTuber for like eight months. Um, March 6th will be my anniversary year of being on YouTube, but I didn't put everything in playlists because it's 400 something videos, guys, I made. And what was I thinking making so many videos? Like you would think it, every day would be, you know, 360 
three, four around there, give or take if I'm busy or whatever. But, or if I want to do an extra one. But I did literally over 400 something videos. So there was days I was doing um, two or three videos, which I didn't know how to work YouTube at the time. So anytime I felt like I wanted to talk about something, I uploaded a video. So now I pretty much know what I'm doing. Ooh, Kelly, that's a hard one. Um, you know, I've seen people go back after two days. I've seen people go back after four days. I've seen people take a week off. I mean, really, I think it's, it depends what your job is. I'm going to be real. I'm not sure what your job is. Um, but your max swelling day is between day three to day six or seven. And those are the most painful days. So, I mean, if you take ibuprofen and stay on top of that, I mean, you should be okay. Give yourself a few days, though. Like, give yourself, like, three days, four days, at minimum. Ooh, it is awesome. Dr. B's pace, his, his, I love his cleaning line. And you know what? There is no, and people don't believe me, there is no other cleaning product like his on the market. They only say odor causing bacteria. They don't actually kill real staph, strep, E. coli, you know, anatisomitis, however you say it. All those, they don't kill any of that. So, I mean, I know he just, he just came with his, um, company two years ago, but his products are so amazing. And so many people think I get paid. I don't get paid. <laughs> I just like stuff and I say it. I do a lot of reviews. <clears throat> Jeez. I did one on um, Cushion Grip and they got salty with me. They did. Um, and I am going to do another Cushion Grip video though because I did by the instructions, which was a fail. So I'm going to do one with the way other people told me how to do it. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'm gonna take a week off. I work for my mom. Good night, Louise. Have a good night. I'll bug you later. If your job is very physical, then you should be taking like a week. Because if you're lifting a lot of heavy stuff, that can actually promote bleeding to come more. Because you're if you raise your blood pressure, the blood flows more. That's why they don't like to do um procedures anybody. Whether you're doing the whole body, whether you're doing the dental, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, high blood pressure makes blood flow more. So if you're raising your blood pressure by lifting and doing all that stuff, you're going to cause a problem. So. Oh, Thomas, you could say hi. Okay. I had to get the app because YouTube is being salty, but we won't get into that. Say hi to everybody. Hi. You're welcome. Yeah, so be careful. Take as much time as you need, girl. Take your time. <laughs> Did you do your live dance yet? I always do my, I'm random. It's like, mm, 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 mm. maybe two weeks. <laughs> You'll be nice and healed then. Hi. <laughs> Thomas little face. I'm head. <laughs> Just don't spill my coffee and we're good. My coffee. <laughs> um, normally no. Um, I don't use adhesive. I just use DentureFit. But because I was too lazy to do a snug up application today, I haven't been feeling good, guys. My stomach yeah, is no. killing me. Um, so I've been just laying around, um, chilling out my stomach. Except today I got forced to go food shopping. Yeah. And I don't like people, so I had to get out of there because it was too <laughs> packed. But today I used adhesive because I didn't want to do the DentureFit snug up um, application because wasn't in the mood. Yep. So other than that, I normally, if I do use adhesive, I use Fix-It and Ultramax or Dr. B's adhesive. Those are the only two ones that work. Um, I have tried Fix-It out with Scope, which that one was working, you know, that was good. But the other ones are better. Everybody saying hi. Hi. <laughs> He's such a ham. Rawr. You're such a weirdo. Yeah, I yeah. am. So what are you up to? Um, I just got my, off Mario Kart because I got bored. <laughs> I, oh yeah, by the way, I um 
I got three stars on one of the ones that we didn't do for Grand Prix. Pound it. Psh. Don't ask. <laughs> Ooh, that's awesome. Yeah, taking 11 days off is more than good. Like, you're good. Unless you had, like, complications prior, you know, during surgery. But, yeah. Two people-y. Oh, my gosh. I was at Aldi's. I'm sure you guys know the food place. If you don't, whatever. No, you're not getting sour cream and onion chips. Darn. <laughs> it's like freaking after nine here. I don't even know what time it is. It's 9.52. Yeah, you're not getting chips. But you're supposed to be in bed. Go to bed. No. Go to bed. Go to bed. Never. <laughs> Never. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, it's, I don't do people -y. I don't do peoples. It's yeah. too much. Yo, some lady hit me with a cart. That was when I was like, I'm done. I didn't get all the stuff I needed to because that chick was about to get the cart up her butt. Just saying. But I did school her on how to be polite and respectful and say, excuse me. Sarah, I tried secure. Now, listen, everybody brags about secure. I don't know why. But again, adhesive is so different, guys, for everybody. What works for me might not work for you and vice versa. Um, I tried secure and that shit popped out of my uh, mouth within three hours. The second I took my first bite, the denture fell right down. Um, and I even tried it again using a little bit more, same thing. Um, and I always wait 45 minutes to let any adhesive dry. So yeah, it didn't work out. Hey, Damien. I agree with Terry. What did she say? No, don't side with him. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Taking his side, Terry. <laughs> See you. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Secure at all. Um, I didn't try the strips, though, but their actual adhesive did not work at all for me. People make such a big hype about Secure, and I was like, I bought three damn tubes. I did giveaways on here to get rid of them when I first started out, and I also gave it to another friend of mine. And I just, like, I bought all of them for nothing. I was so mad. So mad. No, Terry. Thomas, go away. <laughs> No, we're not voting on who gets a snack. <laughs> Ooh, I could be a reindeer. Do it, do it, do it. I want to be a reindeer. I want to see if this works, guys. Give me a minute. Oh, yeah. We're jamming now, Thomas. It's, it's gone now because you won't stop moving. <laughs> I'll be Santa Claus. Don't make me scare you. <laughs> what else can we play with them, Bug Every? Ooh, I could be Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Yo. Just saying. I have too many glasses. <laughs> We're not voting, Damien. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> no. It's too late. Then you'll complain about heartburn. Nope. Oh, I got a tree and presents on my head. Mine. On guard. On guard. Yeah. On guard. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I swear. Crap, how do I stop? Oh, oh I think I did it. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, crap. I could be a gingerbread? <gasps> no, I'm putting it down. Thanks! I waxed very quickly. Hi. Hi, Prue. No, Thomas isn't coming to visit. Yes. <laughs> He'll call me at like 11 at night. Mommy, I'm not eating anything. Crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> no, what it is is Thomas has autoimmune like I do. I'm hungry. And he gets really bad heartburn. So um, if he goes to bed and he lays down with that, he's going to get such bad indigestion. Gonna... And I don't want him to take so many Rolaids or Tums because I don't know if you guys know this, but, but Tums and Rums. Rums. Did I just say Rums? Yes. Tums and Rolaids. Can cause um, kidney stones because it's all calcium. I've seen it happen to too many people. It happened to my mom. Um, if you eat too many of those, you build up calcium deposits in your kidneys, and that sucks. So, hey guys, coming in. What's up? So, like I told everybody, whatever day works for you guys. Um, 
I mean, you could let me know when tomorrow's video I'm uploading. I still haven't done that one yet, though. <laughs> I normally like to do them like a day before or like two days before, but I don't know. Lately, I've been just doing them that day. Yeah, it absolutely can cause kidney failure. Absolutely. I have gastroparesis, girl. Why do you think my intestines are so damn slow, too? My stomach's slow. My intestines are slow. Your body's My esophagus slow. is slow. I have pre esophageal cancer. Your hands are slow. My hands are slow. I drop a lot. Yeah. Are my hands shaking right now? No, they were shaking really bad earlier. Yeah. Hold on. I'm missing stuff. I'm always missing stuff. I talk too much. Oh, Prue. Girl, you guys, I completely understand where you're coming from about being scared. I think the longer you honestly wait, the more scary it becomes. And I'm being dead ass with that. It really is. Like I always tell people, just get it done as quick as they let you get it done. Because then it's going to get to your head if you keep waiting and waiting and waiting. So I, I like I tell you guys, Ativan Fairy helped me. I took it before the um, process, you know, E-Day. And it helped a lot. It really did. But guys, once you get it done, it's like relief. It's just, it's all you have to worry about is healing from then on out. And I have videos for all over the place for you, whatever you have problems with. Yeah, gastroparesis is painful as shit, guys. For anybody that doesn't know what that is, it's slow emptying of your stomach. Um, first of all, everybody that had the emptying test done that they make you eat radioactive food, I'd eat radioactive oatmeal. With an esophagus that doesn't move with two ounces of apple juice. Did you really think I was going to get that down? I had to get permission to get more juice because it was stuck in my throat. Well, what'd you think was going to happen, bro? I have motility issues. Mo I got everything issues. Hey, mommy, I agree with Terry. Yeah, I wasn't sedated for mine. I only had 0.5 milligrams of Ativan, guys. It just took the edge right off. You got this. You guys got this. You can do it. Mm. Ooh, uh. Thomas just took himself out when he did that. Eh. But I honestly think the anxiety is freaking a hell of a lot harder than the denture process. I mean, the first couple of weeks suck with dentures. It does. I mean, I pray to Jesus often. And I'm not even exaggerating because when you have swelling and your dentures are sitting on top of them and you're scraping them in and out, it wasn't wearing them that was hurting. It was pulling them in and out. Take ibuprofen 30 minutes before. You'll be able to get them out, no problem. We could be separated at birth. You don't know. You know I still think I'm adopted. <laughs> you do have to do it. It's best for your health, guys. I've, so, I've known so many people. I've known three people in my life from when I was little till now that ended up with heart problems because of bad teeth, which is crazy. And... We have to do this for our quality of life. And it's not even just physically, you know, it's mentally. Because you want to be able to smile. You want to be able to not have your hands up and covering your face and be able to smile and laugh. And <laughs> and you, like him. <laughs> we said I have missing teeth. Yeah, his canines are taking forever to come down. Yeah. But he's going to have my canines. Mine were very, like, prominent. But it wasn't too bad. He'll grow into it. One day. Thomas, I tried to help you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you brush your teeth, mister? And change into new pajamas? Yeah. You have to shower tonight. That's right. Go get stepping. Don't give me that face. <laughs> His face. Go. It's late, mister. Fine. Underlay, underlay. My tiny little Puerto Rican. Oh, my kids are Puerto Rican and Italian. Go. Italian. <laughs> yeah, I'm Italian and Irish. And my ex is Puerto Rican. You know what I've noticed, guys, is my sinuses are way better. Like, they're able to drain and stuff ever since I got my teeth out. That's life. Yeah. Dude. People, do, you know what bothers me? Health insurance is separate from dental. Why is that? It is damn well your health. It's totally 100%. I almost died. I'm freaking living proof of that, man. Like, and that's what bothers me. I don't think dental and health should be separate. 
And I'm tired of people just blowing up people with bad teeth or, you know, talking crap about them or whatever the case may be. Because everybody has their problems for own separate reasons. So, I don't know. I think the health insurance people need to get their shit together. Why doesn't it fit right? First of all, you guys got to understand the first six months, you're going to be shrinking like. So if you keep your denture in more, you'll get used to it. And I know it's a pain in the ass. You got a hockey puck in your face, but you do get used to it. And if you try denture fit, I keep telling everybody, try denture fit. It's so comfortable, guys. When you guys first try it, oh my God. It's like you don't even feel your denture, except when it's like on, you can feel it like here with like your cheeks hitting it. But I don't even feel my gum sitting on anything. It just is so cushioned. It is so damn cushioned, guys. If you want to get used to your denture, you have to wear them. And yes, the first couple of months are a pain in the ass because it feels like there's something there. Like right now with my permanent dentures, they sit lower than with what my immediates did. So, you know, I still have to get used to having my palate so close to, um, you know, my tongue and all that stuff, which is a pain in the ass. Yeah, periodontal disease is not a joke, bro. Uh, too many people have, ha have that. You could still have that, even without dentures. I mean, without teeth and all that. So, I mean, it's gum care is everything. Ooh, when you guys first get your teeth taken out, you're going to be draining like crazy, like in your sinuses. But please make sure you do not blow your nose hard. And make sure your dentist checks to make sure your sinuses aren't perforated. Which you'll probably hold your nose right here and you'll lightly blow. And if you feel air coming out here, like wherever it is by your sinuses, then you have a perforated sinuses. So even when you guys don't, um, Christina, it really depends. Um, you have to ask your dentist with the warranty. Some dentists allow you to use denture fit if you have a warranty and some don't allow it. So um, make sure you contact your dentist first before you do that. Um, denture fit is a soft reline and it lasts for about three months ish. And you could still add a little on top without taking it all off. So the normal dentist office ranges between 200 to 300 and something dollars for their soft reline denture fit. You don't even need adhesive and it costs, let's see, I don't know. It depends. Because they have, they just had sales on it for like 35% off. And for like eight tubes of freaking denture fit, it was mad cheap. Um, but if you use the code SAVE10, you can get $10 off your order. But it's totally worth it. It's 100% cheaper than the dentist's office. And it actually works. It's silicone. So it's suction cups. Like it would suction, you know, those little suction cups to your window. Um, that's exactly how it would be. So um, it's freaking awesome. No. Okay, Danielle, what happened was, is my dentist said, oh, take yours out after 24 hours and you keep them out at nighttime. Don't do that. So many people I freaking know that took out their teeth at nighttime right after getting extractions done, you know, after 24 hours, out at nighttime, they couldn't get theirs back in for two weeks because the inflammation was so bad. So for the first seven nights, I kept my denture in at nighttime while sleeping. It's because you want to make sure you can get them back in. So I only took them out when I was cleaning them and cleaning my gums. And I popped those suckers back in, but just for a week, just for a week. Other than that, yes, you would take yours out at nighttime. But for the first week, I totally tell you to keep them in because you want to be able to get those suckers back in. Is it hard to remove denture fit? Oh, no. They actually give you removal pads that you can remove your own denture, um, denture fit. It's easy peasy. So it's absolutely not hard at all. When I remove these, I'll do a video and I'll show you guys how to do it. Sorry, guys. I'm just reading. Live dance. <laughs> Angela, ditto. Can relate, girl. Absolutely, Chris. Absolutely, freaking lutely Teeth and health are very much freaking connected. 
insurance do need to get it together. Just saying. Oh, thank you. Yeah, my teenager is very secluded. He likes to come out sometimes. I think he he's, doesn't like being on camera, which I respect that. I don't force anybody to go on camera. You guys just get sucked seeing my face. But sometimes Thomas likes to because he likes to all the time. So normally he's a very shy. You guys wouldn't believe it though, but Thomas in real life is very shy. Um, he basically only gravitates to me because of what he's been through in life. But um, he's very business. He's very like, even if like the doctors try to joke around with them and like loosen him up, he's very like to the point business, like kidneys to loosen up, man. You would never know from what you guys see, which is crazy. Oh, yeah, don't worry about that, Danielle. Damn. Sorry, guys, I'm just reading. How did I keep my gums clean? Um, I did salt warm water rinses four to five times a day for the first week. So the first seven days, you want to salt warm water those babies, your gums, not your denture. Um, your denture, just put it on um on your kitchen counter. I did everything in my kitchen counter because my bathroom sink is just way too small. So my kitchen counter, I put my washcloth down, I put my denture on top. Then I did my salt warm water, and then while I'm like slightly swishing, but more like shaking myself to death, um, uh, I would you know, clean my denture very well. I, for the first, when I first started out, I used Fresh and Bright because I didn't know about Dr. B at all until <clears throat> subscribers on here was like, hey, try Dr. B, try Dr. B. So I did. And then Dr. B saw my videos and all that stuff and it went from there. But his products are awesome, dude. And I'm legit, I'm honest with my reviews. I'm not here to make like, companies like happy and stuff I'd rather be honest for your guys sake because I was in your shoes lying doesn't do anything any tips on cushion grip <laughs> I was not gonna say that um <laughs> I don't like cushion grip I don't think it works I did a video on it and I showed you guys every step of the way I did it listen I followed that box cushion grip got a hold of me and they were like hey you know do you want to try it the other way people have known to been using it because directions wise it doesn't work at all but um, I am going to try it a different way because there's people that told me different ways to do it that work better, that they swear by it, doing it that way. But normally, no, I don't use cushion grip at all. And I have no tips <laughs> because it didn't work for me. Um, but I am going to try a different way and then I'll do a video and I'll let you guys know if it actually worked. Okay, so when you first get your dentures, your home and your all that, you have got to keep it completely in your mouth. You cannot take them out for 24 hours straight. Or, see, my dentist had me go to him after 24 hours and he checked on them, did all that, rinse, clean, whatever. After 24 hours, you start cleaning your denture twice a day and then you rinse them out in between because you don't want to too much clean them, guys. And um, your gums, you have to take out your denture every day for seven days, four to five times a day. To do salt warm water rinses to your gums. And then you make sure you clean your denture really good. Because you're going to get biofilm. And biofilm is that slimy, tasting, disgusting. It's gross. But you'll know it when it happens. Um, so you want to be super careful. Don't swish in your mouth, guys, for like a good two weeks. Because you can dislodge a clot. And ain't nobody want dry socket. No boo. We don't do dry socket. But don't salt warm water your dentures, guys. Those have to come out. You got to swish your mouth, do all that stuff four to five times a day for the first week. And your denture, just clean it, rinse it, pop them back in when you're done cleaning and swishing. Do not brush your gums first, like two weeks. Because if you dislodge that clot, you're going to have a problem. So after two weeks, you can, but gently... Um, but still brush your tongue because you're going to want to trust me. Yes. Ooh, my dentist did too. Okay. So my dentist gave me a prescription mouthwash and it was for three times a day, but I had a prior to getting this done. 
because of everything that was going on. I think it was my primary that gave it to me, not my dentist. Um, but it's like, a, it literally tastes like doctor's office. Like <laughs> I can't explain it. It's very medicine-y and it's very antiseptic. Also too, you guys, you want to get a hold of your dentist or primary, ask for lidocaine mouthwash. So in your first week and you're in pain, you got lidocaine mouthwash to numb your face to have less pain and pop those suckers in and out. Lidocaine mouthwash, go get it. <laughs> I think I'm single too. <laughs> Where do you get Dr. B's? Okay, if you go to my, when you leave here, go to my Christmas giveaway video. And in there is a link. Um, it should be in my comment section that's pinned and also in the description below um, in that whole section. Click on that link. It'll take you over to Dr. B's site and you can have at it. Use the code DENT, D-E-N-T, to get 20% off your first time order. I think right now they, they only do America and Canada because they're very new. So they just started with Canada. But again, they were like two hours um, like no, two years they've been doing this for, so they are not everywhere yet. Right, girl? Terry, I love that freaking toothbrush. Listen, we all know I don't like denture brushes. I think they're too hard. They're too bulky. I don't like them. So I was nervous to do the review until I got the brush and I felt how soft they were and how small they were. Guys got to try it. Why won't your dentist let you do temporaries, girl? Like, I don't understand that. Like, I think my dentist didn't even offer it to me. I brought it up because he saw that I had Medicaid insurance, but my friend helped me get my top immediates. Um, and I'm glad I did because with COVID, I would have been, I would have just got my teeth now. I would have been nine months or yeah, nine months without teeth. That That's crazy. But some, it's rare for a dentist's office not to even do them because they believe in their heart, immediate dentures, you know, do not having them are better. Actually, they act as a band-aid and they protect your sockets. So yes, they are painful for the first week with them because the swelling and all that, but it's worth it after that, especially for your self-esteem, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm um, sorry, I'm reading this. Um, actually, yeah, my dentist did an amazing impression for my immediates. So they weren't loose until like week three. So it was actually pretty awesome. So yeah, I had great suction too. That was the only time I've had great suction until I used Denture Fit. <laughs> did you brush your teeth yet? <laughs> really? He comes out of the shower and he still hasn't brushed his teeth yet. <laughs> How would you know they wouldn't fit? They do impressions over your teeth, like they do for all of us, before they take them out. Yeah, Thomas, you can take your vitamin. Um, before they take them out, they do impressions. And then when you take your teeth out, they fit right up in there. So why wouldn't... That doesn't make sense. How is he going to know it won't fit? Like, what? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, Amanda, that I think is a one-time one. Um, when we get individual ones inside of our buying boxes, those are only meant for one-time use. So if, if somebody else uses it, it might not work for somebody else. Yeah, they don't want to recommend it because they don't want to do it. Like, I, <laughs> there's some dentists that say... You know, we don't want to have to keep doing the adjustments or we don't want to have to deal with soft realigners, you know, so early or we don't want to have to deal with people that are over anxious about the pain of, of media dentures. Let them decide, like give people the full information, give them a damn pamphlet about immediate dentures and what to expect. Let people make the decision. They shouldn't make your own decisions. Take out her teeth and say, here, you can have them back in three months. No. And technically you're not supposed to get immediate dentures until after a year, until about, no, really 10 months to a year. 
because your first year is supposed to be for immediate dentures because you have so much shrinkage. So if you get your permanent dentures very, very early, your denture is going to be super big, like super big. And then you have to keep doing hard relines and that sucks. I think top of painful marbles. It's not that bad. You get used to it. Um, it did suck for the first week, but after that, no. I mean, soft reliners cushion it. The hard acrylic sucks without a soft reline. So if you guys, no matter if you have immediate permanent dentures, whatever, soft relines cushion the blow. So definitely soft relines. They're comfortable. Especially denture fit, man. Man, you guys got to try that. It's definitely worth it. But if you actually take um, Denture Fit's price and the amount of money people spend on adhesive, it's actually the same amount. But you don't have to take goo out of your mouth and pull stuff down and, and do all that whole hot mess. You don't need it. Normally on my Denture Support Group lives, I take my denture in and out all the time. <laughs> but today I didn't want to do my oh, mommy, did you do soft reliner again. Did you do here? Hold my denture. No, because remember I told you I didn't want to do the... Yeah, I did adhesive because I didn't want to do the snug up application darn yet. Darn adhesive. You mean a hard reline? It's normal to do a hard reline after six months. Yes, that a hard reline is what makes it a permanent denture. People say, you know, their their immediate dentures are their permanent dentures. Yeah, because it only takes a hard reline to make them permanent. No, I don't chew gum. I don't know. I just don't. Probably because I, I really, really need these back partial. When I get my back partial, I'll chew gum for you guys. But that, I need that back partial to chew. Because then that is just my gums. And look, it doesn't touch. It's a big pain in the ass. I want my partial. Wish my dentist's office would get their crap together. Welcome back, Louise. Yes, I'm still here. <laughs> um, the upper lower, what, denture fit? Like the product? Are you talking about partial? I don't know what you mean, Chris. <laughs> what did you eat, Louise? That was crunchy. Listen, I love chips. Munchos. Oh, denture fit? Listen, and I tell people this all the time. The upper kit has more denture fit in it because we have a trough. Like it dips in, it goes over. It's just a lot more than a bottom denture would have. Um, for immediate dentures, I recommend you still getting the upper um, because you're going to need that much. But if you want to try it and you're on your permanence and you don't have that much shrinkage, you can just get a bottom kit and use it on your top. That would be fine. But if for your media stage, hell no. You're going to need that bigger kit, guys, because you need that. Ooh, the snug up kit is, like, say you already did your denture soft reline. The snug up kit, which they give you a lot, a lot of soft reliner for that. And that, you can actually buy a soft reliner kit and use that, guys, as your, you know, actual reline. Because it's the same stuff. But it still comes a primer, which you don't really need it. Snug up goes on top of your actual original application of denture fit. So it's like if you're in between, like you don't need to do a soft reline, but you still got a little shrinkage, you just put a little silicone up top there, put it in your thing for six minutes, pop them out, boom, you're done. No primer, none of that. It's literally like four minutes. Well, no, six, seven minutes technically. You got to sit there for six minutes and then like a couple minutes to do the thing. Dude, that's awesome, Louise. You got a free freaking snug up kit? Jelly. Ew, Louise, that's disgusting. You can keep that. <laughs> I don't like seafood. <coughs> so, yeah. You can have your salmon, girl. But I, I am obsessed with Ritz. I love Ritz crackers. I really want my potato chips now. I shall go grab them. You don't need to grab them, Thomas. He's like my little pet. Ooh, do not use adhesive at all for the first month. There's a reason for that. 
because you will rip out your blood clots. Um, you can use it for your top palette. You can only use it on the palette part, not the trough. So that you can do. But no, no adhesive in the trough area at all for the first month because you, the clots need to heal. You'll, you'll rip them out. No joke. And um, the skin has to grow over. You got to wait the month, guys. It sucks. It sucks. But you do. Yeah, I don't love seafood. <laughs> you know, that's why I tell you guys, I was able to eat whatever I wanted at a month, three weeks to a month, because I put adhesive on. I was like, nope, done. I actually had adhesive on for like about a good two months before I did a soft reliner. So my dentist did an amazing job for my immediate impressions because I didn't need to do a soft reline. Then when adhesive stopped working for me, then I did reline it, which that's what I like about Dentrofit. It doesn't have that nail salon taste in your mouth of acetone. There's no flavor. And the dentist and reline, it all tastes like acetone. So it kind of sucks. My nose is all stuffy and I don't know why. Is you? No, I'm good, buddy. Thank you. I swear I just start dancing. All right. So since this is my first live, I'm going to do a giveaway. But it is only USA only, guys, because I'm not sponsored. Um, So I can only do shipping for USA only. Uh, Thomas, can you get me my give a uh, giveaway box, please? The first box, right? My box. Oh, fun. This one? Yeah. It's fragile. Do not drop. It's really fragile. Thanks, Chief. You're it's not that fragile. Okay, I gotta save these. Gotta sit now. Sorry, guys, give me a second. I'm thinking stuff. That's why you do like this. No, I wanna do this because this is what works the most. Okay, so I need anybody from USA only. Um, oh, for anybody that doesn't know that hasn't done it yet, do the giveaway. That's for Canada and USA for Dr. B products. There's like three products that are there, full size. Get in on it. Um, go to that video on my page. But anybody USA only, type USA if you want to get in on the giveaway. I'm going to give you um, Dr. B's liquid crystals that I brag about all the time. So if you want it, type USA only down below. Yes, absolutely. Your dead, your gums are consistently shrinking for the first six months, hugely rapidly. And also for the first year. Um, so you truly, 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 truly need to use adhesive and soft reliant. You're going to have to use soft reliant for your whole immediate journey. I mean, I prefer soft reliner anyway, because it's more comfortable. I'll give you guys an extra couple of minutes. <laughs> Funny, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> guys are funny so just comment USA only if you're in the USA and I'm gonna eat some chips ooh Thomas can I have my Kool-Aid I gotta freaking pee maybe I shouldn't drink five year old 100 you guys need to eat these they're so good yeah, I love they, potatoes yeah, they taste like real potatoes I mean I would snatch one but I just brush damn it I need more here, take the cup. Put the Nintendo Switch down. Fine. Thanks, buddy. Pause. He's, I never let him play video games, so because he got everything done, like, in a way in advance for days, that... <laughs> Listen, I always eat on my lives. It's true. Except for the last couple times before, because I didn't feel good. No, but I'm an adult, and I can have a chip. <laughs> My nose is so stuffy on this side, I don't know why. That's another thing, I actually do know why, I just remembered. The, this side of my denture presses up against, this was the side that was mainly infected in my bones. So, you guys, I was able to eat chips at three weeks. You think something is going to stop me from eating? We all know what I'm going to say. No boo.
accidentally throw it too far. Oh crap. Just go just tiny immediate. slow. Kool-Aid. I could never eat chips with no teeth. Nope. That's not possible. No, people can eat whatever. A lot, there's a lot of people I know can eat even eat steak, which I don't know how that's possible, but they can. Um, it depends what you're going for. I mean, you can order Dr. B stuff because it does kill the most germs. Um, but you don't have to. You can get fresh and bright. Um, it's at Walmart for like three bucks. You can get the Polydent tabs. Do not get the Polydent Dentu cream because it smells and feels like Bengay. Stay away from it. Okay, I'm going to have Thomas randomly pick somebody. Randomly? You guys know me. I don't like to really pick unless I pick a random number or that because I don't need somebody saying, oh, you're favoring somebody because, I mean, really? It's happened already. But, um, you. Mm -hmm. You have to pick somebody. Um. You have to get up. Um, Wait, don't knock over my Kool-Aid. Last time Stevie picked, so this time is going to be Thomas. Mm -hmm. So hold on. I'm going to show Thomas everybody first. I have to scroll. Hold on. Okay, so anybody that says USA, you just got to pick one person. Um, I think that's it up there. I think I'm going to... Yeah, okay. Okay. I pick... Just look right... You have to look at the names to pick, woman. Here. Here. Uh, Hold on. What? It ran away. That? Hold on, guys. I'm showing them the names. Ah! <laughs> Everybody's commenting. It disappears. Um. Damien Cross. I don't know if you heard him. Here, you look at. Can you come over here? Okay. Look. Speak. Tell him who won. Damien. Damien, you won the liquid crystals. Um, email me. It's in the description of almost every video I've ever existed. Yay. And send me your address so I can send you Dr. B's liquid crystals for you to try. So congratulations. I like when guys get involved because they're never on my thing. Yay. Congratulations. Congratulations, Damien. Wait, I'll put on my Santa hat for you. Don't judge me, Steven. Yes, my bigger one's here now. Oh, you won. Stevie, look! I'm Santa. Who's Santa? Then? Santa eating chips. And Santa got tired of cookies. <laughs> and chewing. Broke his arm. Crap. Hey, why are you taking off? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations, Damien. Oh yeah. You are the winner. It is nice to see a guy on here. Because I never see them actually get involved. I was thinking about watching your And stream. I'm glad that you got to win. I didn't even like I didn't even know I was doing it right, Stevie. I didn't even know what that long it was doing. <laughs> Listen, I got to be Santa and give you out liquid crystals. But I do giveaways Hi. at random guys all the time the and story. like literally. Even we're surprised. Like, it's I, even I'm surprised when I do it, because I wasn't planning on doing one tonight. But don't forget, Christmas Day at 6 p.m., I go live on here to tell you guys the winners of the Dr. B giveaway of the brush, the cleaning net paste, and the cleaning net wipes. All full size. Gagging, gagging happens to a lot of people. Um, honestly, when your gums shrink, your dentures are going to go up, so that's going to go away. Also, you can take a toothbrush, and you can brush the middle to the back of your uh, tongue. It desensitizes your tongue, and it gets you used to it. Because it is. It's the back palate. It's annoying. It is. Um, but yeah, once your gums shrink, your palate goes up, and you won't even have that problem anymore. But don't you dare take out your denture, mister, or, or missus, or anybody out there who takes out their denture because they don't like the way it feels. Listen, Keep in the beginning, head. nobody likes the way it feels. Not one person I know loves the way the denture feels. But too bad. Too freaking bad. 
Suck it up, bro. <laughs> totally kidding, guys. I love you. Aw, <laughs> uh, well, this one's for you, Angela. Mmm. 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 Louise, I agree. Don't leave your email here. Don't do it. Unless you want the whole world to say hi to you. Go to my video. Get a pen and paper. I'll tell you right now what it is. Get a pen and paper. Let me know when you're ready. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys, you guys don't understand. For when I got it done, I couldn't believe how fast the process went. Like, I couldn't. It was like so rapid. It was insane. I don't know why I just start randomly dancing. It's fun. Whoop, whoop. Get it, mommy. Thomas, get it, mommy. <laughs> Damien, are you there? <laughs> Hello. Oh, okay. Ready? Okay. So B as in bird, Y R N as in Nancy, E S, one two two three at gmail dot com. I answer everyone, guys. People find me on Facebook. People find me on Instagram. I get people talk to me everywhere. So it's B Y R N E S one two two three at gmail dot com, and then you get me. I'm like a little denture diva genie. You press send, boom, there I am. Yes, I am. Get them. They're only $2. I'll be Vanna. I really have to go to the bathroom, guys. <laughs> I'm like, that's why I'm dancing. Company while you go to bed. <laughs> Thomas, I can keep them company while you pee. <laughs> I want to do it. I want to do it. <laughs> He's such a dork. He's so my kid. Yep. I came straight from the mommy. All right, guys, I'm going to get going because I've been on here for an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, it goes fast. Oh, you're welcome, Kim. Don't make me blush. Now you can see my face, so every time you guys say thank you, I turn really red. <laughs> I just like to help people. I think I've been through a lot of my life alone, and this journey was scary, and I was alone. So when I learned everything, I wanted to spread it around. Oh, Katrina, that's awesome. I love happy stuff. Code for Denture Fit. Use the code SAVE10. Gives you $10 off your purchase of $50 or more. And don't forget, guys, the winner of the giveaway tonight was Damien. So congratulations, Damien. Congratulations. I'm always here, guys, and I'll pro I'll let you I don't know what I'm going to do regularly. On tomorrow's video that I'm going to upload in the morning, um, I'm going to show you guys my gums and check everything out for you guys. That's going to be done tonight because I always do my monthly gum check so you guys know what to look for and be prepared for. But in that video, everybody tell me what day is good for you. And, and I'll just let you know the next day what I'm going to do a weekly um, weekly lives. Aw, thanks, Michelle. Girl, I watch you too. I remember when I first, you randomly popped up, girl. Michelle, you randomly popped up, and I was like, why does that name sound familiar? And I saw that you had subscribed to me after I saw your videos, and I was like, huh, I was your second subscriber. I was like, yay. But I love your positivity. Listen, I love people that are positive. Yeah, this could be a shit show in the beginning. I'm aware. But it's always good to have a positive mind frame because that'll get you so much further. So much further. Okay, I'm going to go pee. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Chrissy just reminded me. I get, I get lost, guys. I get lost. Oh, wait. Thomas wants to say bye. Bye.
I love you guys. I'll see you on the flip side. Later. Chris was like, go pee. I'm like, I'm going. <laughs> I'm like, happy to